Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Um, this is going to be a whisper because it's early. I really have not felt like recording, you guys. I told y'all last year. Hold on, let me, let me go back here so I could be a little louder. Um, hold on, y'all. All right, I'm gonna come in my quote unquote. This is actually where I'm at right now. This is actually considered the living room. Isn't this crazy? Like when we got this house and looked at the floor plan, this is considered the living room and the room that we have as our living room is considered what's called the great room. Um, it's half of it was the great room and the other half is a formal dining room. Who the hell would do that though? Anyway, um, this is gonna be a Sunday vlog, all Sunday vlog because I just have not felt like coming on and recording. It's gonna be one of those years to where I'm going to be slowly uh, pulling away from doing videos and focusing on my family, you guys. I cranked out a lot of videos last year, a lot. Um, and that's a lot of work, and y'all know this, it's a lot of work. So I really wanna focus on my family, my career, my goals. Um, I'm really, there's some things that I'm really passionate about that, have been on the back the back burner um a lot of it was i'm not gonna blame myself i'm not gonna blame making youtube videos because i didn't have to do that but for me a lot of it was fear i'm fearful for trying new things or just branching out there and doing what i need to do and so instead of doing those things i was like well i'll just make some youtube videos because I, I like this and it's a hobby but i re i really did it to deflect from um, doing what I should be doing. Um, if that makes sense, I know I'm all over the place. So, JB. What do you have there, JB? Hold on, y'all. You got it from the tooth fairy? Yeah. What is it, y'all? JB lost a tooth. His hair is a mess, excuse him. Oh, is that a little note from the tooth fairy? Yeah. Can we, can we read it? It says, thank you. You can keep your tooth. I hope you like the gift. Love the tooth fairy. Wow, let's see, well, what is it? Let me look at this. Oh, she made you a little, a little pouch. Is there money in there? Oh, look at that, she left you some money. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so sweet, your lost tooth boo boo. You see that ball? Oh my goodness, he's so cute. <laughs> JB. You did not do that. You, I didn't do that. The tooth fairy did, did that. You did this. You I, really did. I didn't. Because see the washi tape. You have that kind of washi tape. Washi tape. <laughs> no, I can't see it. You have washi tape. How do you know tooth fairy don't have washi tape? Because only tooth fairies have toothbrushes Yum. and tooth. When you have a smart child, he, about 10 minutes ago, he said, I think you made this. He said, yo, yo, hot glue gun is sitting over there. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, I see that hot glue gun. Look <laughs> at this, read that. No, the tooth fairy did it. No, you didn't. The tooth fairy did it, baby. No, you didn't. Okay, okay, fine, I'll admit to it. I did it, but the tooth fairy, fairy put it under your pillow. She put it on your pillow. I know the tooth fairy, but you made this and the tooth fairy put it under my pillow. Yeah. I'm not even sure you know how to write that. <laughs> okay. Hey, you guys. So we just got out of church. We got here a little late, but um, can y'all see me? <laughs> got here a little late, so JB had to sit with me. Hold on, let me check my Facebook real quick. Girl, what are all these messages? Yeah, I don't be on Facebook. I have been on here, but I really don't say anything. I probably post once a week, maybe. Just got out of church. We're trying to figure out where we're going to go eat. JB said Raisin Cane. 
JB, there's so many places that we could eat. There's In and Out. We did Mac you or you did McDonald's. Chick-fil-A is closed. Um let me order online at Panera Bread. Lord. Y'all, I am going to have to <laughs> I, we're, we're still in the parking lot. It is packed here. I mean, Mama. we will pack like sardines. Hold on, hold on, baby. I'm gonna say this and we're gonna go. Um, this is the These Holes Ain't Lawyer Church. And the reason, <laughs> the reason why I refer to it this church, those of you who are new, new following me, my, following my vlog, this church was playing the instrumental version of These Holes Ain't Lawyer doing, a, doing the announcements one time. And I was like, I could not get that out of my head. It messed up my spirit to why I didn't come to this church for two years. I, we come we come every now and then, like once every other month, just so I could be around other believers. But it just really, long story short, I really am going to have to like pray about this, you know, seek the, seek guidance from the Holy Spirit. I, I, I'm going to have to find another church. I have, technically, I have found a church that I'm very much interested in. And I love that, um, I, I love that... Daddy. I told JB I was going to go visit it next week and let, let him stay with Daddy. Bubba, it's a new church. I'm not sure. The church is far. It's going to take me about 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs> That's really not a big deal, to be quite honest. This church is closer. I, I got to this church in 15 minutes, probably less than that. It's right down the street from us. But I'm not going to be able to hang, y'all. Two things. First of all, the wife, the wife, the wife preached today. Two things that she said that made me like look at her like what she referred to the woman at the well and those you know if you are if you're a believer you know about the story about the woman at the well who wouldn't give water to jesus because he was a jew jew and she was a samaritan she referred to the woman at the well as a thought and i'm like what 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 i was like you know i, I kind of laugh at that but i was a little bit bothered about it like why are you going to refer to the woman as a thought so anyway um that happened then she made another comment basically saying how you know if there's any virgins in the congregation please save yourself for marriage however there are other things you could do to make sure things are and i was like what and people were laughing. Half the people were laughing. The other half was like, what? I'm like, okay. You you can't say stuff like that on the pulpit. But I'm sorry, you guys. Call me conservative. You can't say. You, you really shouldn't. I said, you can say whatever you want. But you should not say things like that in the house of God. So, yeah. We're going to go ahead and go to a new church um, next weekend. Because isn't that crazy? Ciao. Mm -mm. But, but what am I going to order? Yeah, I'm ordering something from Panera Bread to go pick it up. And then we're going to go ahead and go. I'm going to go ahead and get some, some mac and cheese. And then we're going to get the half thigh chicken salad. But I don't want any chicken on it. Because we're going to go ahead. None. All right. Done. I only can see you. I'm in the dark. Baby's like, get your chicken knocked away. I'm putting chicken on top of my salad. So y'all, isn't that crazy about the church? You know, Leia Gordon did a video. I know it's probably loud in here. Leia Gordon did a video recently about leaving the black church. And, you know, everyone has their reasons to why they don't go to church. Me personally, I need to go to church every now and then. Um, I need to be around other believers. But, Leia was saying how in Atlanta, there's a lot of churches that- Oh my that, God, look at that. Child. There's churches in Atlanta that apparently has they have ATMs. I have never seen that in my life. Excuse me. And other people have, you know, were agreeing with her how the church has become a business. Well, 
I really, a lot of millennials are leaving in the church. But what people need to understand, the church, the definition of the church is the people, okay? Um, and again, me personally, I have to go to church every now and then. I just, I'm in a place right now where I really need divine intervention, counsel with the Holy Spirit to see where I, to help me find a church. Thumbs up, baby, yeah. To help me find a church home. It is, I think it's really important for believers to be around other believers and to commune together, servitude, all of that. I really no. do. Hold on. No church is perfect. I get it. But some of this stuff, I can't roll with. Like what she said in the pulpit, and there's multiple issues that have came up. I can't roll with it. Who was that? John Gray admitted that he had a an affair. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I worked date so long. Yeah. Mm mm. I, I burnt so well. Uh, we don't we don't do those type of mukbangs. Mm -mm. <laughs> Mommy Tang is back doing no mukbangs. Those who follow her, she had some personal issues. I don't believe in gossip. Well, I do like the gossip, but I don't want to have that type of energy on my channel. But if you want to know what happened with her, you could just do a, a quick research. What are you doing, child? <laughs> I forgot to tell y'all, have y'all been watching the mask Singer, Unmasked Singer? Don't eat like that on my channel. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm. I tried to watch it with JB once, and JB was like, this is scary. And then I was like, you know what? There's something, um, here's my conspiracy theory coming up. There's something, this music is loud. There's something a little dark and sinister about that show. I don't know, call me crazy, y'all, but JB was like, this is scary. These these costumes, I mean, he's only six years old, but he was scared of the people in the costumes. And maybe a little bit, like yeah, it's maybe a little bit of, <laughs> JB said it, not me. <laughs> yeah. I showed my glasses from Fermo to my husband. He started laughing. They tied on my head. They're, they're, they're children's glasses. They be putting my money back. So I don't have to send it, send them back in. They said you can keep them as a backup. Backup for who? Jay? Backup mom. Backup me. <laughs> Bendy. Ink. Y'all. Ink all over it. I had a great. It's first of all. It's Monday, Martin Luther King, Martin Luther King Day. Like I said, it has been a struggle. I think I have a sh sugar guys. addiction. Bendy. It's I really do bendy. think I have a sugar. I've been having something sweet to eat every day. Now I'm, I'm, oh my um, flow is here. Maybe that's part of it, but I need to stop with the sugar. I'm intermittent fasting. I'm doing ten to five for me personally, and it's been a struggle, girl, because I get up so early. When you get up at four o'clock, you're hungry by seven. So I'm having a stretch to ten o'clock to eat. Let me say this, and we're going to go to the store because JB's night-night machine has stopped working. And look, do not have your child codependent on something to fall asleep and stay asleep. JB sleeps with white noise. He actually sleeps with lullaby music. He's still a baby, y'all. He sleeps with lullaby music or white noise. It helps him to sleep. Um, we kind of do, too, because we have those air purifiers. Let me say this, because I just got finished kind of watching somebody... Y'all, you help us gonna learn. I don't care what anyone says. You need to be very careful when you're on this platform as a YouTuber. Sorry for the background. You need to be very careful what you show on your channel. Um, there's reasons why I don't show my husband because I, I don't want to. This is my channel. Now, if we had a legit family vlog, if we, you know, like um, Yolanda Renee, who, by the way, she doesn't even show her husband that much. I love her. She's pregnant, by the way. She's so cute. Um... Oh, who is that? I can't think of anyone. There are some, okay, good one. It's Peak Mill, which I love her because people didn't even know she was married and had a baby. Child, she came back with a five, six month old baby and was like, oh, I have a baby and I'm married, by the way. I was like, yes, keep it private. I love her, Peak Mill. She does the wigs and um, hair tutorials and makeup, by the way. You guys see a lot what's going on throughout the week, but I don't show a lot with my husband and I don't go into all the details of what's going on in our family because it's just hot. You can control. 
But then there's certain people I'm like, why would you do that? So I guess I'm getting into, I don't understand why people who are in new, freshly, fresh as a baby, new relationships bring their their loved ones or excuse me, who they're dating on the social on this platform. That's just a recipe for disaster. You have to know all uh, 100,000 or how many subscribers you got. People are going to nitpick everything. Even if, like I said, I'm married. You know, even if you're married, you got to be real, real careful. Because this is like reality TV, you guys. There have been incidents, and I'm going to name drop her. The other people I'm not going to name drop. One sexy Tina had a couple of incidents where people actually... Hold on, baby. One sexy Tina, y'all know her. She's in her fanny, 40s fanny. She's in her 40s out in California. Um, Guys, look at this boss. Anyway, a couple of subscribers actually contacted her husband. Now, she is legally still married, I believe. Correct me if I'm not, y'all. She is legally still married to her husband, even yeah. though she dates other people. Oh, my That's God. That's another story, but okay. my point oh is, my is that... Girl. You know, this is someone, because she showed her husband a couple of times and she stopped doing it. Get your shoe, baby. Mm. Get your shoe. Did it come off? It's yeah. still on. Let me get to the point, y'all, because we got to go to the store. A couple of subscribers, at least one or two, I know, at least one incident where they actually contacted her husband. And I believe they, eat, I'm like, how the hell? Black women can work for the CIA, FBI, PTO, PTA. We are some researching helpers. They yeah. contacted her husband either at his job or just found him on social media. I think, yeah, that's what it was. They I found him on social media and contacted him. I guess at the end of the day, people can do whatever they want, but this is like reality sh reality. TV. Anything that you do or any, any type of issues you have in your relationship are going to be almost highlighted on social media or on your vlogging channel if that's what you decide to do. So you got to be careful. You got to be real careful. Girl, I, I'm not doing it. I will never. Now my husband has held the camera every now and then. Y'all may see a bicep, you know, a little balding head. That's about it, girl. I'm a baby father, he. I know that's right, Chaby. Hey, y'all. Ooh, y'all's president is a hot ass mess. The news is on now. My husband has started watching news on TV for some odd reason. <laughs> Normally he just does stuff on his phone. Yeah, y'all, this government shutdown. This man is, 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 I said I won't really get into politics because honestly, I stopped watching it, really stopped watching <coughs> it. I mean, I understand what's going on, but it could be depressing. <coughs> we're what almost a month into this government shutdown those of you who are not here in the u.s what the government shutdown has done is affected the everything from the airport um farming it has affected our farmers it has affected what uh a little over four hundred thousand employees and their families you've got people who are taking on side jobs and working for Lyft, Lyft just to have Lyft as a um, cab, a type of cab service, by the way. Because I do know, I have quite a few people who watch me who are not here in the U.S. Um, and it's really sad. I have a friend who works for the FBI, and I asked her, I said, you know, is how is the shutdown affecting you? And she's like, well, it doesn't really affect my husband or I because our jobs are funded. You gotta have someone watching the nuclear weapons. I'm like, girl, is that what you do? <laughs> no. no, but she kind of... Her husband is currently, I'm not even gonna, I'm not gonna, I shouldn't say all that. Anyway, um, her job is safe, but she said that um, the building that she's in, some of the other employees, she said they're down in the gym room or the rec room, she said, just watching TV. Cause they have to come to work. Girl, some of these people were going crazy over this, um, over what is it, the refund checks, which I understand. My husband was kind of a little, you know, anxious, not necessarily anxious, but we were going to come, we were, we are okay, you guys, not even okay, we are blessed, we are very good, um, well, I'm not going to get into how much we make, but we're, we are, we're good, y'all see, you know, you, you see that we are, we're not struggling, okay, so it's not like we're looking for that income tax, our income tax, we use that towards, we put some towards savings, and to help of our house. Um, and even if we wouldn't be able to, my husband would be able to pay out of pocket. We wouldn't want to, but he would be able to do it. Um, 
And I think I mentioned a couple of vlogs ago that we're redoing our master bathroom. We're putting in a whirlpool, hopefully jacuzzi, having the inside painted house. Um, but I know some people use that money to do stuff like pay off bills, which I totally get. I've been there, girl. I get it, y'all. We have worked, let me tell you something. My husband and I have worked ourselves up from the grant from the ground, and maybe I should do a story time on this. My husband came here with no education to being a supervisor in one of the top hospitals here in Scottsdale, excuse me, here in Phoenix. Um, he was working in Scottsdale, Arizona for uh, a certain time. Uh, my family was, I wouldn't call us um, poor, they were working middle class. Um, we never went without, but I remember my mom and dad paying people for food stamps because they made too much money to, you know, qualify for food stamps. They were, again, that struggling working class. They didn't save up for me to go to college. Are you serious? That was not an option. I worked my way through school from 17, working multiple jobs. I graduated from high school at 17. I always worked multiple jobs, actually, up until um, I had JB, meaning multiple jobs where I had a separate job um, on the weekend or something. You know, that's what I did. I funded my way through college by working and of course taking our student loans, girl. Uh, I guess my point is, is that we had been there to where we were looking for that income tax. But now we're at a spot, thank God. And it's funny, it's after, it's really after we had JB that we really got our stuff together. Because before we would spend at least I would spend, my husband's has always been good. I would spend carelessly. Let me tell y'all something. It was nothing for me to go and have, I remember one time, I had to humble myself. I had a bag of shoes and there was only a few shoes in there and that bag retailed for $600, $700 worth of shoes. There was literally only like five pairs of shoes in there. That should tell you, that would tell you the type of, now you cannot get me to pay more than $20 for a pair. Of, that's a lie. I'll pay $30 for a pair of shoes. I'm not paying $100. Yeah, I will pay $80, $100 for some pumps that I will only wear two or three times. So that was the type of person I was, just spending carelessly, not really saving, not investing. I've gotten so much better, like I said, since I've had Jay, because you always, at least for me, I, I it changed my perspective and I think about the future. Anyway, y'all, I'm running around. Hey y'all, it is Tuesday and ugh, girl, it has been one of those days, you guys. I mean, are those my shoes? JB has my shoes in his pretend Kmart store. Well, we over that. Um, sunny, a little chilly today. When I was out, it was it was windy. You know, when it's windy, it feels like it's cooler. So I felt like it was, even though it said it was, you know, 55, 60, it felt 40. So anyway, um, yeah, it, it's, I've been in a certain mood. JB got up a little early. He had been sleeping pretty good since he started back in school. Um, and so, I'm sorry y'all, I'm over here in the hallway so it's echoing. Is this better now? It's not echoing as bad. Um, we have high ceilings in this. Now see if it sounds better, huh? I was up there where it's really, I don't know how many feet this area is, but it's pretty, pretty up there y'all. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I've just been in a, I've been in a certain mood, you know, and, um, this is just, you know, this is real life. This is how it is. What put me in the mood? First of all, is JP waking up early as hell. JP woke up early three something. Yeah, girl, three something in the morning. Um, I was up. Don't ask me why, but I was already up and it's okay because he actually, he's had started sleeping a lot better. Um, getting up around better meaning getting up between 5 30 and 6 so I was okay with that um got his new night night machine he was okay with that um but that threw off my morning routine because normally I have my morning to myself that's my me time which by the way that my me time video should be coming up soon anyway girl I'm out of, why am I out of breath because I've been running around this morning this is one of the few times I actually have to myself in this house y'all I need it. I need to have time by myself and just sitting here so I can relax. Um, so I'll show y'all what I'm cooking for dinner. I'm cooking dinner early. It is 229 because JB has karate at four o'clock and I just want to have it just ready, done. I'm going to put the uh, oven on a Sabbath set. <laughs> I'm going to put it on warm and put everything in. So anyway, um, I have some spinach and kale with carrots here. 
really really yummy I have some cinnamon carrots with a little bit of brown sugar just a little bit some coconut cilantro rice this is so good y'all very very good some apple pie you know what this has been baking for an hour but i want this top a little bit brown more brown so when we get back for karate i'll pop this back under the broiler for like five minutes and i have some chicken wings in the oven i'm gonna let those go you know at 375 for about 30 minutes probably bring it down to 365 show you my cute little uh, setup for this week for my planners. Aren't these stickers cute, you guys? These come from the Happy Planner. Some of these I printed myself. Um, I'm getting real good at this, real good. But I see why people have tons of stickers because I feel like I'm running out, but I, I know I'm not. This is next week's girl. Yes, look at this. Isn't this cute? I would say all of this I got online. Um, just images I found and put together some other stuff that I found. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what this was trying to be. But yeah, I'm already scheduling stuff out. And this is my February. February was, I wanted to do an anti valent day, but no, we just went ahead and did Paris. In love in Paris. Isn't this cute, y'all? Let me get out this garage, y'all. Look, I was thinking about, just telling my husband about this, I was thinking about creating my own stickers and selling them on the Etsy shop. But I, first of all, the sticker Etsy shop thing is oversaturated. There are a lot of people who do stickers. Thousands of people who do stickers. But if I could get a target audience and really hone in on that, that would be different. But the other thing is that I think my startup cost would be a lot. Let me turn this off real quick. My startup cost would be a lot because I would have to get the software. My laptop is, oh, I definitely need a new laptop. Um, that's money I would have to get. Um, I wouldn't do it to where you would print them out because that right there is easily $300 to get one of those circuit cutters or whatever. Um, and I would do mostly what's called productive stickers. I wouldn't do it because I'm not a graphics artist either. That's another thing. I'm not a graphics artist. So I would do more so the productive stickers, not the decorative stickers, <coughs> but like the call later important. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. Mm -mm, it's too much. I'll stick to what I'm doing now. Stick to what you know, girl. But I definitely need to think of another type of side hustle that brings in money. Y'all, I, I have my YouTube thing. I'm going to tell you the different ways that I have different streams of income for me. YouTube is j definitely one of them, and that brings me a couple of hundred a month. Um, I also do Appin, which is, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Um, they do all types of stuff. Stuff I recently just got, um, I'm a little paranoid, y'all. I'm too damn paranoid to be working for them because they will they be wanting you to download their software on your phone so that they'll have access to your to your stuff as i want to say and i'm like girl i don't know if i want to do that so certain things i will do when you get paid by project and the, i think the most i've ever gotten paid was 40 dollars for a project so that's another way to bring in money but i need to think of another way to bring in money i used to sell my own hair oil but girl people don't be wanting to buy hair products i know every now and then people would be like you should create your own hair products been there done that no, was no. People don't want to do that. Um, they don't want to spend more than ten dollars for hair oil and the type of oils I was putting together. The costs were getting up there as far as yeah. So I sold primarily to um, to uh, what am I trying to say? I'm out of it. I sold primarily to hairstylists, and that's where most of my sales came from. Were stylists. The lighting is dark. I definitely want to think of some type of other side hustle. So food related, no. I would never ever be the type. I see my mama do it, my best friend do it. I love to cook, y'all, but I'm not passionate about it. You know what I mean? I love to cook. I'm really good at it. I'm cook at putting things together. Good at putting things together last minute, but I have no desires to bake and sell bakes and L1 own bakery. No, thank you. My my passion comes in planning, organizing, decorating. I love to decorate, I, but mostly 
organizing um stuff like i love that type of stuff which is you know anyway so let me hush up y'all i need to go to the bank and then go to the credit union y'all oh lord um work 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 has been crazy this week i'm just gonna say this i don't like to talk about talking about work a lot i don't like it when people are true or, or clearly trying to manipulate manipulate the situation but you can read through them both Christine and I can read through the foolery. But anyway, my manager just sent an email about an hour ago that basically was like... <sighs> anyway, she was basically like, um... Team, me team meeting in Denver. Um... <sighs> Our director basically wants us in Denver for three days, either this quarter or next quarter. And I'm like, what? So I called my husband immediately. I'm like, my manager just sent us an email and basically was like, they want to have an all hands on me meeting out of town, out of state for three days. You know, my husband, those you don't know, my husband works second shift in a hospital, you know, and we don't have any friends or family here who could keep JB for three days straight. So I was like, what the hell? So I wrote her back. I didn't say yes or no. I basically said, you know, the earliest I could travel for work is in June due to my husband's work schedule. I just left it left it at that. Not really saying yes or no or, you know, making any excuses, but just telling her that's the earliest I could do it. Now, technically, that's the end of Q2. But, yeah, I, I can't do that. So now, what I have to do... If this is definitely going to happen, I need to go ahead and reinstate my company credit card. I'm not putting this stuff on, my, I'm not spending my own money. Cause the reimbursement policy and all that is crazy. And it would be at least a thousand dollars out of pocket for three days. And go, it probably won't be, it'll be around $800 if you include hotel for three days. And, um, and uh, what what is it? The flights and yeah, I don't have to be keeping receipts. I'd rather just go ahead and get a corporate a corporate card and just be done with it. Ain't that some? Whew. I'm like, y'all got the budget for this now? Y'all didn't have the budget earlier. So hopefully my manager will, will respond back. But yeah, I, I can't do that, you know. Hey, you guys. So I'm going to show you real quick. Let me pause this. I'm binge watching Dexter. Girl. Um, I'm making a crock pot type of chicken potato meal because I don't have time to cook dinner excuse me so I have some diced up carrots here I have two potatoes yes one is yellow I'm using what I have I purchased this Campbell's oven sauce I've used these before they're very good it's the creamy garlic butter chicken hold on I gotta sneeze never mind I only use half of this okay in my crock pot I have a little bit of onion one tablespoon of garlic one tablespoon of olive oil. I have some parsley over here. I'm browning some chicken drums and I have it seasoned with onion powder, and onion powder, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, black pepper, paprika, and a little bit of salt. Yeah, it is Saturday. Let me show you what I'm wearing because I look cute today, girl. This is a perm rot set comparing those four that's going to be coming out, I guess, in a few more days. Let me show you what I'm wearing. We're going to a birthday party around the corner. I don't know where she's at. We're going to a birthday, corner, birthday party. I have on some high-waisted jeans, just like a mom, huh? Very casual. Some boots. Can y'all see this? Let's go! <laughs> How <Bubble>. move? Move! <laughs> Makeup is very simple, and I have a tan purse to just blend it all together. Baby, this child, the reason why I haven't been uploading consistently, it has been a hell of a week. And so, yeah, it's been a week since I posted up a vlog, but now I am. Come on, boo-boo, let's do a thumbnail picture. Let's do a thumbnail picture. JB lost two teeth. Hugga-mugga-mugga. All right, y'all, see y'all next week. <laughs>